Hello everyone, in this video let us uh, take a look at Jira's REST API and uh, basically use the REST API to assign the issue to a user. In one of uh, our previous video, we learned how to create an issue and uh, I thought I'll probably continue a bit more on uh, what you can do with the issue and uh, one of uh, the thing that I wanted to cover is basically to assign the issue to someone and I think this is really important because when you're working in Jira you may want to assign the issue in most cases uh, you will be assigning it to someone and I think uh, doing it using a REST API is something really interesting now for doing this you need to use the put method here because we are technically updating something in the issue and uh, when you are updating something in the issue, you need to pass uh, the issue key or issue ID. Now the, the REST endpoint is the REST API 3 slash issue. Then you need to specify the issue ID and in the end you need to also specify the assignee. And then you need to pass uh, a JSON file where uh, you need to basically specify the name or the account ID to set the, the assignee basically. And uh, if you want the uh, assignee to be uh, maybe null or maybe you want to, to to basically do it automatically because usually when you have uh, some components uh, uh, in the issue or maybe if you have something set up at the project level you can also change it to minus one so that the issue is assigned to the default assignee of the project and for unassigning you can set it to null and if you want to assign it to someone, maybe you can use the account ID. So for this example, I'll be using this this particular issue key, CTS-16. We have been using this issue key, this specific issue for uh, for for doing a lot of lot of things. And uh, let us continue using the same issue key for assigning it to someone. So the REST endpoint is something uh, which I copied as it is. The only thing is, of course, the issue key. And the method is of course put, and I'm using the uh, account ID as my account ID, uh, which I um, of course know, uh, but uh, you can you can have it as null as well. So let me just uh, just execute this, and uh, there is no error here, which is a good sign. If I go to my Jira issue, and if I do a refresh, you can see here that the assignee of the issue is now me because I use my account ID but uh, we, we can also unassign it so if I want I can also change it to null and if I send this again this will basically unassign the issue and hopefully it will work yes uh, so we are able to unassign the issue so it's a very simple example but I think uh, very important to learn how to do it because I'm sure if you're working with Jira and if you're re if you're using REST API, you will end up with a situation where you will have to assign the issue to someone or maybe unassign it uh, from someone. So this is all I wanted to share in this uh, video and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.